Oh, you know what? Like, come here. I want to build a building. We'll start in just a few minutes, everybody. I think Edwin is fixing his, uh, his uh, camera. Ah, there we go. Nice timing. Hi, Edwin. You're muted, Edwin. Yeah. So uh, I think at all five. Let's give two more minutes, just in case somebody decides to jump in. Could you listen to me? Great. So two minutes have passed. All right. So um, thank you very much, everybody, for being here with us today. Uh, this is going to do an amount with Happy from Google App, whose equity just got tokenized. So just, uh, we're going to go and talk over his project. So this is not about breaking. We'll do an AMA probably on Friday. We have a live tokenization happening on the other side. So it's more important of us and me introducing Javi. So hello, Javi. How are you? Hi. Hi, Edwin. Thanks. You're welcome. It's a, it's a pleasure uh, to be here. Thank you. Yes, there's a lot of people jumping in. Kind of reminder that we will be supplying the interview on YouTube and later on our channels in case somebody missed. So uh, let's go straight into into your project. So can you tell us um, what is Bubo? <laughs> okay, it's a, it's a good question. Uh, we are in a, an AI technology startup that offer a, a new leisure and entertainment ecosystem. Thanks to interactive, connected, and gamified experience um, through personalized audiovisual content recommendation in multi-device environments and, and globally around the world. Um, users can, can the, the, well, our goal is that uh, the user of a streaming platform uh, discover new content uh, about your about their uh, likes, preference, interest, etc. Interesting. So, for example, myself, I have I don't even know what I have anymore. Like Netflix, HBO, Disney, Prime. I might be missing something. I connect 
all of my applications into your application and you tell mm -hmm. me where I can go, where I can see, kind of like you understand my likes. Is that something related like that? Yes, uh, but it's not It's not necessary to, to, uh, to connect uh, your platforms uh, to the app. The only <clears throat> only you have to, to establish your preference by gender and, and streaming platform and and then uh, we show you uh, with our algorithm of AI uh, we show you uh, titles about films movies films uh, series documentaries uh, about uh, in, about your preference Okay, very nice. So I don't even have to connect. You just tell me where I can go based on my likes and everything. So it's kind of like I create my own library of information and then you just give me the right direction where I can go. I think it's super interesting because nowadays we just get flooded. We don't even know where things are or where they are located. It took me like a little day, like half an hour for me to find a movie that I wanted to see. I knew it was somewhere in my streamings but I didn't know where, and then I ended up watching something else. And then the next day I ended up watching what I wanted to see. So, I mean, it's super interesting. Thank you. Uh, how did you start at Bubo? Like why Bubo? Why Bubo? Uh, we are uh, uh, a startup uh, that uh, uh, a great uh, potential of uh, scalability and growth uh, are, uh, in our world. We are present uh, in all countries. Uh, the, the app is in, it's available in, in App Store and, and Google Play. And in, in 176 uh, countries, in, in 12 language, languages. Um, and we have a great team uh, to, to develop, uh, to apply innovation and, and development uh, to our products. And, and uh, and this and, uh, we we could uh, raise the the value proposed uh, to the users uh, that uh, find the, our app uh, more utility for for them. Cool, very cool. So I know this is not your first startup, right? You've been a, a serial entrepreneur for a while. Can you tell us a bit a bit of your journey because it's interesting. First of all, it's super important that it's not his first. Usually there's a saying that, what is it like? First is a failure, second is a learning, third is the one you actually make a living out of. So <laughs> tell us a little bit, where where are you, Javi? Uh, I started to, to emperor, the entrepreneur um, in 2014, 2014, oh. uh, mm, that's 10 years ago. Uh, so I, I have, I, I, I the, the first uh, company I, I create, uh, was, a uh, a sports center, uh, with the modality football indoor, uh, in Zaragoza. And we, we become to, to a sports center reference in Spain and, and three years, uh, then I I, I, ha, I was a uh, I did an exit and and start uh, started a, a marketing digital a digital marketing agency uh, and I have worked uh, with more uh, than 40, 400 uh, clients uh, around the world in in Spain Europe uh, and America mainly and and. I, I collaborate with other projects with a, um, a drone pilot platform about employment. Um, and we, 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 we get to, to subscribe uh, half, half uh, of drone pilot in Spain um, to, to 2000. Uh, around 2000, 2000s and I know uh, with this project I, I only uh, was uh, one year but uh, I I learned a lot uh, and and now uh, with Google we I'm I am here from two year two years uh, and I hope uh, <laughs> more years <laughs> more yes. um, and everything is, is going to 
to to be well. Uh, we have raised um, um, three three hundred thousand more than three thousand uh, three hundred thousand and. Mm -hmm. Uh, euros uh, with more than uh, 50 investors um, um, the, the app it's it's uh, growing every day um, and we have more more users uh, only not only in Spain because uh, we have two users in Europe and America um, and that's amazing so congrats on that on that growth uh, I know you went through Lanzadera. Just so you guys know, I'm going to put uh, the community into perspective. Lanzadera mm -hmm. was created as a project in Valencia. Valencia could be the next Barcelona in tech-wise because they created this technological hub uh, by a great entrepreneur, a Spanish entrepreneur, and obviously a bunch of business angels. They created this technological hub in Barcelona, Valencia, which, uh, which is called Lanzadera. So it's kind of like this big tech hub of startups that get accelerated under that program. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's right now committed to becoming the best of the best in Spain. They apply to Lanzadera because it's a big mover in the startup world. They get introduced to VCs. They give you a mentoring session. They accelerate you. And just so everybody knows, uh, Bubo was in Lanzadera. So he already comes from a great, uh, what is a pedigree, as we will say, in like let's say I, I nobody says that i just made that up i don't know what is the right word sorry but he is coming from already a a great uh, house in spain of accelerated startups and i think it's important for for everybody to know that because uh, that just shows he has backers and muscle so how was the experience at lanzadera javi yes uh, we 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 were here there uh, for months uh, from September to to January of this year, and and the experience uh, was was very good. Um, we 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 could uh, to do more contacts uh, and collaborate with uh, other startups in, in some projects. Um, and I recommend this experience other startups. Uh, and maybe this year, since September, uh, if it's all it's go, going to be good, uh, we will start uh, uh, and accelerate with Waira of Telefonica. Oh, nice. Congrats on that. That's very big. Yes. So again, communities, just so you know, there are acceleration, there are different kind of acceleration programs in in Spain, Guaira is coming from Telefónica. Telefónica being one of the biggest uh, communication channels at the at the level of Dutch Telecom, Orange, Vodafone. Telefónica is massive, especially in whole Latin America. They have Movistar, so so they have the Guaira uh, technology hub here, and it's one of it's a big global. So a lot of startups like to enter that. Because it's uh, a good indicator that you you that the startup is doing very good. Actually, it's not just good; it's very good. So, Javi, congrats on that! Thanks. Amazing. So, uh, let's go a little bit more into uh, the team. So, we know you've been a serial entrepreneur for a while. Uh, you did, if I recall, uh, you did a sports center. That you did an exit. Then you created your marketing agency with approximately four hundred clients. Been helped. Then you enter uh, Bubo app. So who are your founders? Now that we know you are the CEO, who's uh, the team that was as crazy as you for you to create the project? Yes, uh, there, is, there is uh Angel Martinez. That is the, the, the he's the CFO and, and, and he, he, he works in, in to present to introduce the startup in 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 convocatories say a nivel uh, le national level or or Europe level um, and it's uh, it's uh, the, the responsibility of uh, uh, business development and he he has uh, he he has um, 
uh, uh, company consultants uh, with more than um, 15 years and it's uh, it's uh, engineer uh, and it's uh, he has an MBA and uh, in the other part uh, we have a uh, Chen Montaña uh, like a CTO and, and it's the responsibility of uh, all, all technology of of Bubo uh, from from Bubo App Social Media, Bubo TV. Uh, Bubo AI, uh, Bubo Ads, uh, it's, it's the, the, the person that uh, that's all products uh, works correctly. <laughs> Amazing. So that's a big team. Uh, just started two years ago, right? Yes. Bubo uh, was founded two years ago. All right. Yes. That's, that's still. The, the, still the, company, the company really, uh, really. We, we, I found it in uh, four years ago in in 2019, but uh, with uh, with uh, COVID pandemic pandemic, uh, we 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 was a, a little <laughs> tropiezo, como se dice, <laughs> and, and in in 20. 21 summer, uh, we was uh, financial by Enisa in Spain with with 140,000. And, and we, we, we get to, to raise an, an investor uh, crowdfunding uh, in August last year. Um, uh, more than 90,000. 90, uh, nice. So you, you just keep growing with good numbers. All right. So uh, let's jump a little bit as to why, how do you see, it's, it's interesting. I'm going to ask a question because uh, you come from a non-blockchain product. And here in Britain, we are very obviously blockchain with tokenization, but in reality, it's all about a new form of investment and relationships between the company and the investors. Because blockchain, it does work, but it's more for transparency and making everything efficient. So, what the question is, when did you learn about blockchain? Uh, and then, if you want to continue with the question, is uh, why tokenize your equity? Mm-hmm. It's it's a, a great opportunity for for us uh, because allow all investors around the world to 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 participate in in equity of our startup and and become to to shareholder partners like like partners because uh, and the the BBO token uh, it's equal that one shareholder and it's going to be. Uh, Convert in the next uh, right increase uh, capital, um, 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 uh, the 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 we can <laughs> touch our door and um, yeah. uh, we evaluate that it, it will be a, a great opportunity to to do this and at this moment. Thank you. Thank no, you. I mean yes, we did we did touch um, knock on the door as you said. Uh, we, we like the project, uh, well, I mean, just so everybody knows, disclaimer, not financial advice, but I, I am an investor in, in Bubo. I actually bought it through in the Spanish AMA because, uh, myself, I like to invest in some things that I like, but more I like the team. Uh, if I want to invest in great projects that are already massive, I go to stock market and invest in Apple or Tesla or whatever. But as a business angel, I like to invest in, in the team and especially the leading man, because I would say that I, that's how I, some people would like to invest in, in our bricking, kind of like, in, especially in the early stage. So yeah, I, I really like how you, how you are, Javi. I'm telling the community just so they know that I'm backing you up here, not only as a product, but also as Edwin Mata. So again, that's financial advice from Tom. Just, but either way, that's important for everybody to know. Uh, my, my question is, uh, 
let's let's go let's go B. Where do you see Bubo in the next five years? Oh, I I, I hope that we will, we will position it in the market like an like an like a like a brand of AI recommendation content about the streaming platform in of an app of reference uh, leader in the market. Um, who knows, uh, maybe <laughs> competing with Netflix, uh, and Prime, Disney, and HBO in the streaming platform um, with, uh, with a, a, a great production of content uh, with uh, Bubo TV originals uh, like uh, uh, movies, series, and documentaries. Um, and with an ecosystem uh, of pleasure and entertainment connected uh, between app social media and, and Google TV. And, and surely uh, with uh, more than one product uh, launched in the market, uh, a new product uh, we launch in the market. We have two uh, for now, but uh, we have to uh, a great roadmap to, to build the Amazing things. Amazing. That's a great answer. Uh, it's important to always go big because if not, then else entrepreneurs will not exist. So I believe there's a, I'm just going to make a quick stop. Uh, Kavi, can you put in the telegram, the, the telegram of your group? As there's a lot of questions, uh, here from people who I think they can go into your telegram and ask you later, uh, more in private. I am going to, ask some of the questions from the community but so everybody oh yeah Manuel obviously hey Manu ha, always there thank you so guys uh, whoever has any questions Bubo has a telegram group he created for specifically for for this round with us and obviously thank you Javi for for trusting us in that us we can organize equity which we can and it's been a very good journey so far in the sense that we are proving to the market that it's a new form of financing. It's a new form of representation of equity of, of, uh, participations and whatnot. So this is super clear. And I wanted to make a little bit of a statement. This is not a cryptocurrency. You are not investing like you are in BKN. That's a utility token. They are different uses here. What Javi has proposed is that whoever invests as of now becomes a shareholder in the company. So imagine having the opportunity back in the day when, as he, how he said, Netflix uh, started and he went to VCs, but no, there was no crowdfunding. Now with these new forms of financing, kind of like we're doing here in tokenization, uh, people can enter startup early and they can go through the journey in the same uh, denomination, I would say, as a shareholder, as Javi is. So that's a very drastic difference from the cryptocurrency market. This is not as volatile, obviously, as good things, BTC at 30, thank you, but that's a joke. But either way, it's important for everybody to know that here, Javi is opening the round for people to jump inside the company and become a shareholder of Bubo, all right? so. Yes. Uh, sorry, Edwin. Uh, an important thing is uh, that for all investor of uh, uh, Rubrican, we offer uh, our um, memberships of uh, subscription plans, uh, Bubo Plus in app social media, and uh, Bubo TV in a streaming platform for of ch past channels, uh, free for life. Oh, perfect. So building utility on top of the of the equity i love that that's actually something that it's gonna happen kind of like shareholders need to be more activated so uh amazing can uh i'm gonna start asking some questions from the community uh let me go and say okay so first one is gonna pick i thought it was important uh johan not gonna say your last name sorry i'm gonna make a mistake in public because i was gonna say Mubrock. And probably it's not like that. He said, uh, 
the histamine is your the registering is only available in Spanish. Can you is that true? Can you only register in Google app in Spanish, Javi? Uh, for now, I, I think so, but uh, the next month uh, will will be uh, available, available in in uh, all language. All right, so register it. It's only accessible right now in Spanish, and then next month, obviously, as the company grows and everything, the functionalities, it will be available in English. So yes, now you guys know that. Uh, now, for example, another one is. This is very subjective, Dabby. I am going to say, did some of the team members involved to the past big projects, was there a big project in between? I mean, he just said like he will manage a company with 400 clients. So I think that's big, 400 clients as a marketing agency and having one exit. I would like to think that it's already big. What do you think? What do you want to answer to that, to that question of Daphne? Mm. I'm sorry. I, Which I'm... is, yes. Did some of the team members involved, were were they involved in big projects? Yes, uh, Chema CTO was in uh, Innovation Lab of Welling more than five years. Um, okay. And he, he, he's go, going in internet uh, more than 20 years uh, since the, the internet started. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so we got an old school, amazing. Uh, Peter, when was Google founded and how was the growth of users since then? Yes, uh, Google, we, we launched uh, the app uh, in June last year, in June of uh, 2022, um, but the, the social media uh, a phase, um, a phase of social media uh, that uh, allow uh, users interact interactive uh, between them uh, was uh, launched uh, in October and in this uh, six, six months we have uh, uh, raised uh, more than uh, 10,000 users, activity, active users in, in our world, in our, around the world. That's a lot. Congrats. So that's a huge number. It might seem easy to get to 10,000, but it's definitely not. So congrats on that great growth. I'm going to pick another one before, because I'm just going to do a random one. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is a good question, but it should be handled in, in the other chat. But I am going to tell you, Fabi. Uh, Gregor M said, could you provide financial projections, main key mm -hmm. financial indicators for the coming years? Now, that's a that's a question that uh, somebody interested in investing in a startup will ask. So, Javi, what do you what do you want to respond to him? Yes. Um, we expect it to 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 end the, the year uh, with an only revenue about uh, 50,000 50, euros. And on the next years, uh, uh, the, the, the project, the financial projection projections, uh, it's going, it's uh, to be uh, uh, um, income uh, mi uh, millions of, of euros uh, each year. Um, but uh, we are focused uh, this year in the in the monthly revenue. Um, with uh, our business model uh, B2C and B2B. Um, and the, the main uh, goal is, is to raise uh, 50,000 uh, 50, euros uh, this year, monthly. Amazing. That's a great answer. So, uh, Saf here uh, is asking, uh, what is the price of Google? And it is okay. It's a little weird. He's asking, how did you got to the to the supply that you're selling? So, what is the mathematics behind that supply, and and how did you land it on the price of the share? Uh, we we launched uh, the, the video token with a with a start supply of um, five hundred uh, five hundred tokens and. Um, 
it's it's one uh, value um, five five uh, five fifty five thousand five hundred uh, five hundred five hundred fifty thousand oh, sorry uh, five hundred fifty uh, USDT and um, uh, it's it's uh, the, the it's a part of uh, our financial round we are uh, going to take. Amazing. So uh, again, I strongly suggest everybody to to jump into the Telegram. They can have a conversation about what is uh, Bull of Building. Let me copy the. Let me get your Telegram. Okay. Why can I share? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I cannot share. I was going to share, Javi, can you help me share your Telegram group with the community? Yes, of course. Oh, I finally could. My computer was failing. Okay, so community, go jump into, into the BBO uh, token. Remember that it's not a utility token. It's actually uh, equity into Bubble app. Uh, they use our technology. Uh, they believe in us. We believe in them. So that's why we're having uh, uh, this AMA with him. And every question that you might have, uh, Javi is always, Javi is a little bit one of the crazy like founders like me, who's 24 seven. How do I know that? Because me and Javi have had conversations very late at night. So I know he's always available and he's always working for. So feel free to jump in. I don't know if you want to say uh, a message to the community before you leave. Uh, you can always go, Javi, and start answering questions that you see in the in the chat. You can uh, message it or they can message you, and then you can uh, also respond because there's also people asking some interesting questions, but time is limited. So before we go, Javi, uh, what would you like to say to the community as a goodbye message? Okay. Uh, Moises, uh, what ask uh, what what uh, he he could go in, win? And um, I, I respond on the chat, or or why can I? No, I can... no, don't worry. Resp uh, yeah, you can start responding on the chat, but my message will be as a what would you like to tell Brickens community about Bubo before we we say goodbye. Ah, Javi, ¿qué le quieres decir de mensaje de despedida? Ah, ok. Um, well, uh, I, I invite all investors uh, to, to, uh, to, to get this uh, great uh, investment opportunity and, and become uh, of uh, shareholder and partners uh, of Google. And, and they they, they will uh, purchase not, not only in a token, uh, the, uh, even in a startup uh, with a, a great potential of growing uh, around the world, um, and, and they 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 win uh, all, all products, all of our products, uh, subscription plans, uh, free for life. And thank you, uh, uh, everybody, to, to be here. <laughs> yes, of course. So again, community, we're going to be sending this um, video. We're going to save it and then supply on the social media. I again invite you to join uh, Google's Telegram, have a conversation with Javi. Again, repeating, he's actually inviting everybody to become a shareholder in his company, in his vision. So I strongly recommend you to have a a chat with him, uh, see uh, how he is, because then you will understand why myself, Edwin, not Bricken, he invested in him. Because I think uh, there's a future here, and especially uh, entrepreneurs are born, they're not made. And I think Javi uh, was, was born to become an entrepreneur, so I'm happily behind him. So for the rest, uh, thank you very much for this, Ama. Uh, regarding Bricken, I'm going to put a little uh, parenthesis. We have a, an event happening on 
on Friday, you're gonna all receive news as to what are we gonna do with all of you, the community, because now we're gonna start doing some more uh, giveaways and everything because we have some, we have a good month of announcements before our launch of the BKN. But let's leave that for another conversation because today was about Bubo. So Javi, thank you very much for having us with here. Before we quit, uh, we always make a, a goodbye joke and it's, uh, What's your favorite pizza? Carbonara. <laughs> oh, wow. I haven't heard that. Okay. Interesting. Good. So we have a first carbonara who says here. Perfect. At least you didn't say pineapple because if you said pineapple, you will get banned. So that's a joke. Thanks. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Javi, it's been an absolute pleasure. Wish you the best. And thank you, everybody who attended. Have a great day. Same for you, Edwin. Thanks.